What's up everyone? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to correct white balances, um, whether it's pretty far off or just you need to touch it up a little bit. Um, so basically, I have my footage here and it's so incredibly blue. Um, I set a custom white balance of an orange t-shirt just so that it's so incredibly blue and then I just kind of pan across. And um, we're probably not going to be able to correct this too much, but for purposes of demonstration, um, this will work perfectly. And I take that back. We will definitely be able to correct it, but it, it, we probably can't get it completely looking natural because that color information just is not there. Um, so let's go somewhere right here, and let's use the fast color corrector. So we take that, drop it onto our footage, and we get couple of options. Um, we get saturation, so if we wanted to we can take out that blue completely. Um, and then a couple of auto levels so it'll automatically um, like maybe crush your blacks, lighten your whites, auto contrast. So and then here's all of that information. So that's that's all good. But in order to correct this what we need to focus on is this wheel right here. So basically what we want to do is um, counter this blue with the opposite um, complementary color. So if we look the wheel all the way over at our blue, the opposite is over at orange. So we could totally fill it with orange um, and then just go across here to find which one works best and then take some saturation out. Um, now, uh, it's still pretty darn blue, so what we can do is simply duplicate our fast color corrector, and let's take off some of the intensity here, and, um, and I think if we add an RGB curves, we can take care of this. Um, you might want to push some red in, or whatever, but, um, if we brighten this scene up a little bit, and then add some good contrast. That's a little too much. Um, and then I think we'll just go back to our um, color corrector and take out just, there's a lot of red in it, so we'll just take some of that out. We can um, bring the direction away from the red so we can move into the slightly yellow orange. Um, so then we've got some good tone there, and I want to show you the before result, well not the before result, but the before and the after. So here it is, before, total chaos blue, horrible looking effect, and with everything on, honestly it is, it's almost fixed except for the fact that some of the colors are a little messed up just because it was so off. But um, basically, you can go into the fast color corrector, select your white ba balance via this eyedropper tool, and then you just go click on whatever should be white. So I have some paper here, so I can click that. But it doesn't want to work for me today, so I'll, um, I'll just stick with this. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, go check out my other After Effects Premiere and Photoshop tutorials. Um, and then also just general tutorials. I do really appreciate comments and votes, so if you can rate this, I'd greatly appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe. So, um, I'll see you in my next video, guys.